Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Excellent. So you are well known in control. Can you let everybody know who you are? Uh, I'm Jay Chenault. Um, I'm the guy who also lives in Seattle, uh, along with Gaff Taper, and uh, I'm the one who sometimes disagrees with him about the Gaff Taper <laughs> method. Sounds good. And you have a new product to show us today. I do have a product. This is something we've been working on for a number of years. Um, my partner and I in this have felt for a long time that the state of lighting control has really stagnated over the last 10 or 15 years. You go out, you see stuff, it's all the same. And we've really tried to come up with some new ways of thinking about it and better ways of approaching it that make it intuitive, simple, powerful. Um, we said to our, we said to ourselves that um, if we ever do training classes in this, we failed because it's not simple enough. We call it paradigm. Sorry, sorry. We call it plexus um, because it is a new paradigm in the way of thinking about lighting. Um, do you want to see it, or how Absolutely. do you want to do this? Okay. Um, so it's the idea of it is it's based on a magic sheet. There are no rows and columns. It's all based on a magic sheet. Uh, here we're looking at one page, and I can see my fixtures, these square dots. This is a little sample rig we put together. I've got six areas, A, B, C, D, E, F, a couple of front lights coming in on each area, some down lights coming in on each area. The round things are groups that I can access them. So, for example, um, if I want to, I could click on a fixture and I get a slider, I can bring it up and down. I can click on a group and get all of them, bring them up and down, pretty much like you'd expect. Uh, if I s click on something that's more complex, this case an LED fixture, I get the LED screen to pick colors and the level control. If I pick something like a moving light, I get everything it needs. And one of the things here is we're customizing the display for the fixture that you're doing. You don't have a lot of extra knobs and buttons to get in the way. You can lay this out any way you want to, whatever makes sense for your production. Another thing we really like about it is this idea of using names, not numbers, for your fixtures. If you look at our down lights here, um, and let's pick one and, well, let's pick some and give them a little bit of color, which is kind of a weird color, but let's assume that's what we want to do. So if we're sitting there and you're in a conventional system and somebody says, oh, take the up center down lights up a little bit, please. What you'd have to do is you have to look down in your magic sheet, find the channel number, which in this case is 32, and then bring select 32 and bring it up. With this system, I can very easily, because the name is DE, down light area E, I can say DE, up arrow, and it goes up. Okay? Just by typing that into the keyboard? Just by typing it into the keyboard. What it means is, if I'm doing the show by myself, I don't have to take my eyes off the stage. I can just run the show. I, I don't have to look at my paperwork as much. The last show I did with this system had about 70, 75 fixtures, so a fairly small show. But I didn't look at my magic sheet after the first 20 minutes. I had it all memorized because I had named it not having to use numbers. Pretty powerful. Amazing. We have multiple pages here, so you can have lots of different looks. If you want rows and columns, we can do that too but I don't really recommend it. Um, we do th other nice things like give you a, an intensity slider to show you where you are, to show the color of the fixture. A lot of people do that. One thing that other people don't do though um, is this idea of groups that we have, which is kind of interesting. It, it's a little complex, but let me see if I can explain it. If I select a fixture, I get a level. I can move the level up with the mouse wheel or with my keyboard, like you'd expect. If I select two fixtures, and I'm going to control click to select two fixtures, okay, they're both going at the same level. Now, this is what you kind of expect in a conventional console, but what happens if your two fixtures are at different levels? Well, what, basically what we do in that case is we show you a slider that has a blob. 
So the range of the fixtures here, you're getting all the levels that I can take those and in increase those or decrease those, right? I can say to it, um, let's move these up proportionally. So here I've got uh, the first one at 49, the second one at 5. I can say, well, move the top one a lot, but move the bottom one a little bit because it's at a lower level. Or I can say to it, well, you know, make them both the same level. I can do the same thing with groups that are defined. What this lets me do is define groups that let me manipulate the lights in, in ideas and concepts. So if I want to bring up everything on area two just a little bit, I can using a group. Okay, and I can do it proportionally or I can do it arithmetically. Um, those are the major pieces of it that make it different. It is a tracking console. We do dark moves slicker than anybody else that there is, I think, uh, partly because we did it before anybody else did. This system was doing dark moves 12 years ago, uh, which is pretty unusual. Um, those are the highlights. Anything else? <laughs> it looks quite amazing. It is. We've had a lot of success with it. Uh, a lot of people who see it like it. Uh, they like the fact that you can put in a touch screen and run it from that if you want to. We have the ability to do buttons with it. Um, How many universes does it support? Uh, it will. We support ACN streaming ACN. So with that, uh, you can get up to. Uh, we don't. We haven't tested it much beyond six so far. Okay. Uh, most people use it with one universe or two universes. We support ArtNet. We use the USB Intech dongle, and we do streaming ACN. Very good. And do you have a projected cost for this? Uh, yeah, the we are planning to uh, put it out. Start putting it out in about two weeks through the GAM website. Um, we uh, the cost is eight hundred dollars for one universe. List price eight hundred dollars for one universe. Four hundred for the second and third universes. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Sure, my pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. We did. All right. Good to see you again. Good to see you.